Hello everybody, wishing you a peaceful Tuesday of Holy Week 2020. I hope that you heard Pastor Erica's words yesterday on her devotional and that you have already taken some time to stop and smell the roses. My family and I, we went outside and we spread a blanket on the ground and we just had a picnic, capturing a few moments together away from all of the chaos because these are certainly difficult and confusing days. No matter what particular challenges we are each facing, we all really need to hold on to opportunities for peace and hope. Holy Week, much like this season of life we are in now, is a really tough story to tell. So I think especially as Easter draws near this week, we really must hold on to hope. And we must look for God at work in the world and perhaps see Jesus in new ways without forgetting or ignoring the hardships that we or our neighbors face. Our scripture passage for today comes from John 12. It's verses 20 through 36. So it's just after the triumphal entry and opens with some people who just want to see Jesus. I'm going to read the first part of that text if you're following along. It says, Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida to, in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. The message of Jesus had spread far. And the Greeks, they want to meet this man they've heard so much about. But instead of just meeting them right away, Jesus responds by telling the disciples that his hour has come. And even what there is to see in seeing Jesus. Because to see Jesus is to see sacrifice. It is to see love that extends beyond one's own self. Seeing Jesus isn't just about seeing him risen, whole and well. You have to look at the whole picture. You have to tell the whole story. Both the hard parts and the beautiful parts. That's the thing about Holy Week too. We take the time to observe it, to honor our grief, to recognize the confusing and difficult pieces of our faith. But all the while we hold on to hope, knowing that Easter is coming. And somehow we keep that balance, balance between grief and hope. Seeing Jesus in the most difficult corners of life and yet in the best of them as well. And so today in this week, I challenge you to truly see Jesus in all of those places. I hope you see Jesus with you when you feel alone, discouraged, or overwhelmed. And I hope you see Jesus in moments of peace, in neighborly love, and on the horizon of hope in the new life that is to come because it's only Tuesday and Jesus is here, but Sunday is coming and Jesus is there too. Thanks be to God.